this is the 2017 July Smuggler's Bounty Box. Let's get it. How's it going, YouTube? We are Midwest Nerds, and we are here, of course, you saw with the title of the video, the July 2017 Droid Smuggler's Bounty Box. As we start, all glory to God, without him, none of this would be possible. We think it's important to show that the two months ago box, so we can compare the droids box to this 40th anniversary box. All right, yep. So this box, we were not sure if we were excited about it, but you know, we went ahead and, and grabbed it up anyways. We both got it, we're just, uh, so we'll start. With the first things first, we're gonna start with the not as cool and go gradually to the coolest thing that we think that was in the box. So, first thing, we got this salt and pepper shaker. Yeah, I'm not sure how I felt about, it's cool that it's Han Solo and Greedo, but at the end of the day, it's salt and pepper shakers. I don't know how many of us nerds were really feeling about having some kitchen items, but my, yeah, my partner over here seemed to like it. So uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I, I, I like it. It was a really interesting idea. It's just up close. The the paint's a little funny on them, I think. But yeah, it was kind of random. I don't know how they just randomly got the idea to oh, let's go ahead and make some pop salt and pepper shakers. You know, well, I guess I shouldn't I shouldn't hate on them too much because at home I actually, I mean, I am moving into a new place. So, I was like, you know what, instead of buying them, I'll go ahead and use them. So they're actually sitting on my kitchen table right now, but you know what, it is what it is. So it worked out for him. Myself, I wasn't too excited about it. I ended up giving them away to a buddy of mine. So it all works out. Next off. All right, we'll move this out of the side. We're gonna go with what was spoiled for the box, the reason why most of you bought this box. It was the uh, Luke Skywalker with Speeder. It was a pretty cool idea. There's not been too many, uh, we'll call them pop rides. They're not technically pop rides. I'm not even sure why. But it's cool to have Luke with the speeder. It's, it's a little big for, you know, what I like. It's hard to find a place to display it. But what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, that is the one thing is, I knew pop rides were big, but yeah, this definitely was a lot bigger than even I thought it was going to be. The thing for me was, I thought it was going to be a lot more popular than it was, but it, it really hasn't been very popular. I mean, it's cool, and everybody loves Luke Skywalker, so I just figured it was going to blow up and be big, but you know what? I, it's, it's not really. Yeah, we're both big Luke Skywalker fans, but this one kind of missed the mark with us. Yeah, what did it go for? What's it on eBay right now? Like $25 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, which isn't bad. I mean, you're not getting the box to really resell, but... At the, at the same time, you want to get something that's nice and going to be valuable over time, and this one just didn't hit the mark for us. Yeah, I still own mine, but you, but you know, just in case, I'll, I'll hang on to it, I think. Alright, and the last and most important thing was the Star Wars sweatbands! Dude! I mean, who doesn't want some Star Wars sweatbands? Who doesn't want Star Wars sweatbands? I mean... We, you know, you know, all Star Wars nerds, we like to go on our Star Wars runs and play some freaking Star Wars tennis. Yeah, you know? go on the basketball court, shoot some hoops, you need some good nerd gear with the Star Wars sweatbands. This is what everybody wanted. It's the hot seller for this box. And we're just way too excited. Oh. So glad that we got to show you this. Oh man, I just, I, I couldn't even bring mine in today. I couldn't, I wanted to bring them in, but you know, I just didn't want them to get damaged. They're just, they're just too good. Cause you know, I mean, I mean, when you put these on, you can shoot baskets in under 12 parsecs. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah, that was a. But seriously, that was the most. That was the biggest joke of all time. I think just doing those things. But anyways, why we're here is the droids box from July. So, all right, we're gonna open these up and we're gonna see what's going on. Yeah, we're both really excited to see what's in this one. I, myself, stay on social media all the time, so I got spoiled. I know what's already in the box. My partner here, he does not know what's in the box, so it's going to be exciting for both of us to see his reaction of what's in some Yeah, I have no idea. I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. So we'll just get started, and then we'll, we'll see what we think. All right, 
So let's open up the front. Let's see what we got. Oh, all nice. right, all right. So first things first is we got this. Uh, oh man, sticky. So we got this nice little C3PO droids patch. That's pretty cool. So this is my second patch. This is only my second Smuggler's Bounty box that I've got, but. That's not bad. I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, I think the patches have been really nice. The patches and pins, you're always going to get nice quality with that. Cool designs. Yeah. So, before you saw anything in this box, what were you wanting to see in here? I I really wasn't sure. They, they had the spoiler out, which everyone saw. It was the prototype C-3PO. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. I personally am just not a huge fan of the droids, so I decided to skip out on this one. Yeah, that makes sense. For me, personally, I was hoping to see, I really love the Roger Roger droids Yeah. from uh, the prequels, you know, those things are so awesome, they're so hilarious. I was hoping to get one of those, but as we know, I have no idea what's in here yet, so we'll see. But anyway, moving on. This makes me pretty happy though. We got the uh, the little Roger Roger droid pin. So this is this is a nice find because I love to put pins on my backpack for work. So this is gonna be a, this is gonna be another nice thing to put on there. Yeah, pins are really picking up steam in the collecting community. There, are all kinds of different pins and all these different subscription boxes. People put them on their backpacks. They got jean jackets or shirts that they put them all on. I personally like to put all the pins on a cork board and display them all, but. Everyone loves the pins. All right, cool. All right, so let's move on and we will get cracking on this box. All right, help me out. I don't want to peek at anything. Let's grab the first item out of here. Oh, feels like we got the shirt on top. All right, keep that closed for me so I don't see it. All right, let's get this out of the package. Now I think all the shirts in all the Smuggler's Bounty boxes are amazing. Some people don't like that they're always pop shirts, but you can never have too many pop shirts. All right, what do we got? That's pretty cool. So it looks <laughs> like, all right, so it looks like we got R2D2 and BB8 together showing the map to Luke Skywalker. That is cool. Yeah, I really enjoy this shirt. I think it's one of the better shirts that have been in the Smuggler's Bounty box. I mean, we are both huge fans of The Force Awakens. Oh, Probably man. both our favorite movies. Yeah. So to have a shirt with a pivotal scene from the movie is great. Yep, that was, that's a really cool shirt. I am very, very happy about that. All right, next thing, right. moving on. Grabbing something random out here. Oh, I got one of the pops. Let's see what I got. All right, and here's, here's what we expected, what they told us was gonna be in here. Here we got the C-3PO unfinished. That is really awesome. Yeah, it looks looks good. It looks even better in person than I imagined. It's such a cool idea for a pop vinyl that I'm not sure many of us thought would look cool or even had the idea of making, but I think it's a good addition to any Star Wars collector. Yep, I think this is great. One thing that I really love about this, what catches my eye, look at the paint detail. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. I mean, you have to put a lot of detail in a pop like this. You can't halfway do it, so to speak. So yeah. the C-3PO, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that blows my mind. I am so happy about that right there. All right, moving on. All right, oh, I got the right. second pop. I have no idea what this is. Second pop, looks like the final item in the box. All right, and it is R5D4. Yeah, that's... You don't see him very much. Yeah, that's a really interesting find. Yeah, they don't make very many, any kind of merchandise for that droid. And I think it was actually a cool idea to put in this box because I was trying to think what, because I assumed there was gonna be two pops and a shirt in this box. And I have no idea what the second pop was gonna be. And I think it was a good idea to do this pop. Yeah, I think it definitely was too. I definitely love the paint on it. It looks very dirty. It looks looks like a straight out of Tatooine, which is just what we want out of this pop. So that is that is pretty awesome. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, I think everything in this uh, Smuggler's Bounty was great. Let's uh let's do a little recap of the 40th anniversary box. Out of 
Five stars. What do you think this box was? How, how much did you like the box? Give us a little review overall. Well, the pop was okay. It's really awesome to actually get a, a pop ride, which of course they're not actually calling them pop rides for whatever reason. But it was, it's nice. It's, it's not worth very much. Um, the other two things, in it, other than the pat, the, excuse me, other than the patch and the pin, other than those things, that's, it was a little strange that I did not expect salt and pepper shakers. I didn't, definitely did not expect the sweatbands. Sweatbands. Didn't expect those at all. Um, so I don't know. I might give it a two and a half to a three. It wasn't, they missed the mark because everybody was expecting way up here for 40th anniversary and we got kind of, kind of down here. It's kind of, eh. You know, we got, at least we got multiple things. We didn't get a shirt. Yeah, what I got the box for, I really like the shirts. The Rebels box, I think they set the bar with that one. There's two Pops, an Akari, the shirt, patch and the pin. And then for the next edition of Smuggler's Bounty, for everybody wanted a Leia Pop. We didn't get a Leia Pop with it. The Luke is cool, but yeah, I'd have to agree. Two and a half stars. I mean, and that's mainly just the Luke Pop getting it that rating. Now let's go to this month's, as we bring up the shirt, you want to bring the shirt back yeah. up? You can hold that up. Alright, so we got this, here we go again. Got the sweet shirt. Right, sweet Everybody, shirt. Everybody loves R2 and BB-8. Yep, and we got the, of course we got the pin and the patch as usual. Those are, those are rarely bad. Something I noticed is what I can always look forward to is the patch and pin, they're rarely bad, so. I was pretty excited about that. Even if it's not a character that you like, just the designs are so cool, you're okay with getting the patch in the Right, exactly. And so we got the Pops then, which I'm very pleased with these. They both, even if you don't like these characters, the paint job is so well done. So I'm really pleased. I, I, am, a pretty, I am a fan of droids. Um, not a lot, but I do like them, and it's always nice to see you know, a rare droid that you don't expect. So yeah, our R5D4, yeah, I didn't expect him at all. C3PO is, of course, he's pretty awesome. Everybody likes Anthony Daniels. So, of course, yeah. <laughs> so for me, if I were to rate the droids box, I'd probably give it a four and a half. I'd probably give it pretty high. It didn't completely blow my mind, but I'm, I'm very pleased with what I got here. Yeah, I'd have to give the same rating as well. I mean, you got exactly what you expected out of a droids box. You got two cool droid pops that you haven't really seen anywhere else. I mean, you see regular C-3PO, but now you get the unfinished to go with your collection. And then the shirt. I think the shirt was the best item for me. What about you? For me, I personally really love the C-3PO because of the in intense detail of it. But definitely the shirt comes to a very close second. And I'm actually really curious to see how well the R5-D4 is gonna do on the market. I know Smuggler's Bounty pops have tend to be uh, going down in value a little bit just because they have been selling so many. But I'm really interested to see what this is gonna do on the market. Yep, so we both really enjoyed this box. I think the next edition, I believe they said it was gonna be Jedi. Yes, Jedi. Now that has me super excited. I was so excited for finally them doing some sort of lightsaber wielding box. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I saw a little teaser this morning, a little commercial for it. It showed the Jedi Council, so I'm not sure if that's going to give us a hint. I've heard rumors of maybe an Obi-Wan, Anakin 2-pack. I'm not sure. With the prequels, I know Walgreens usually gets all the prequel stuff, but I think that would be cool. What would you like to see in a Jedi box? What would I like to see? I would almost like to see, I know there are a ton of Yodas, but I'd love to see a Yoda again. I think that would be really cool. Or also, I'm, I'm, a, big, I'm a big fan of the Jedi Council. I'd love to see them. Or maybe even a newer Jedi from The Force Awakens. I mean, there's the possibilities are endless. I could, I could almost go for anything. I yeah. just think Jedis are awesome. I think it's gonna be a really good box. Personally, I'd like to see a two-pack of some kind. I think that'd be pretty cool to put in the Smuggler's Bounty, something we don't see a lot with Star Wars. And I think that's about it. Yeah, so thank you for watching. So just like and subscribe to us, and we'll be uploading as much as we can. Um, I'm usually pretty busy with work, but we're going to try to get videos up as much as we can. Yep, we enjoy doing this. The link 
below if you want to get one of these Smuggler's Bounties box. It will be in the description. Until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.